I am Mercy Casey, medical advisor with Premom. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Premom's YouTube channel so you can get more helpful tips on your trying to conceive journey and drop any comments or questions that you may have below on today's topic if you need some further clarification. So let's get started. What are we talking about today? Today is IUI versus IVF. So what are the difference between the two? If you've been trying to conceive for a little while now, and maybe you're to the point where you're like, okay, I'm going to start considering some reproductive assistance. Here at Premom, we want to educate you. We want you to know what are the choices out there so you can better understand your options and be your best advocate and make the decisions that are best for you and your future family. So let's discuss two of the most popular fertility treatments, IUI and IVF. So what is IUI? IUI is intrauterine insemination. This is also known as artificial insemination, where washed sperm, a specimen, is placed directly into the uterus right prior to or during ovulation using a small flexible catheter. So an IUI cycle can be done either as a natural cycle with no medications or with a, um, or with fertility medications, that's known as a medicated cycle. And that is to help with ovulation and maturation of the egg. So the IUI procedure is based on when you ovulate, right? The whole point here is that we want to get the sperm in the uterus towards the fallopian tubes right prior to or during ovulation. So this is a time sensitive procedure. We want to make sure the sperm are there at the right time because that, that egg only can survive for so long. So we wanna make sure that the sperm are in there and can be fertilized. So this means that it's super, super important to be using your ovulation kits during your IUI cycle. So you make sure that you don't miss that fertile window and can plan your insemination accordingly. So as I said, there are two different types here. You've got the natural, which is an unmedicated cycle. It's exactly that. It's natural. So the IUI is going to be scheduled strictly on when your body naturally ovulates. So as I said, using those LH kits at home, when you pick up on that ovulation surge or your LH surge, then you call your doctor and are able to schedule your insemination based on when that surge happened. The other option is a medicated cycle. So this is either through oral fertility medications, you can even use injectable medications, and those medications are strictly to help with the ovulation process. So this may be for someone who has a delayed ovulation cycle or a non-ovulatory cycle. You can expect to use these medications for about five days, and your doctor may still want you to track ovulation naturally using those LH kits, or they, can, they may prescribe you something called a trigger shot, which is just to help with the release of the egg. So that was a lot of information about IUI. So now what is IVF and how are they different? So IVF is in vitro fertilization. This is the process where eggs are surgically retrieved from your ovaries, and then they are exposed to sperm in a lab outside of the body. And that is to create embryos, which can then be transferred back into your uterus for implantation. So IVF is a more lengthy process. It could take a little bit longer, one to three months, depending on your protocol, um, but it's the most effective form of assisted reproductive technology and has a lot higher success rates than the IUI does. So during IVF, you're also going to be taking medications to help stimulate the growth of your follicles. Um, so that way there's a higher chance of pulling out or retrieving multiple mature eggs. Once ready for your egg retrieval, you will go through a procedure where the eggs are retrieved from the ovary, um, and that is supposed to be done prior to ovulation. And then once outside the body, the eggs are then exposed to the sperm. So this can be done naturally or through something called ICSI, where the embryologists are taking the sperm and placing them into the egg. And then the embryologist, with either direction, they will watch those embryos for the next three to five days to see how they grow and if fertilization is taking place. So once that happens and you have a nice healthy looking embryo, they will either transfer that back into your uterus or freeze them for future embryo transfers. All right, what are some reasons for maybe doing IVF versus IUI? So some reasons for IVF include fallopian tube blockage or damage. So when you think about it, if your fallopian tubes are blocked and you're putting sperm into the uterus, the sperm's never gonna meet the egg. So that may be a reason to do IVF. Also ovulation disorders, endometriosis, um, 
if you have male factor infertility or the sperm aren't able to swim, then they're never going to meet the egg either. So that's another reason that you would probably want to do IVF. Uh, if you have genetic disorders, you can genetically test the embryos, um, unexplained infertility, or even fertility preservation. So you can either freeze your eggs for the future or freeze embryos, which is also really cool. Um, and then for IUI, so if you're if you don't have a reason to jump into IVF, you may be considered a great candidate for IUI because it's less invasive and it's less expensive than IVF. So this may be a great start for a couple who's just having minor difficulties with ovulation, who maybe just need like a little help with some extra boost of fertility medication, or if you're able to ovulate on your own. Um, intercourse timing. So if your partner travels a lot for work and you guys can never time intercourse specifically for when you're ovulating, any type of sexual dysfunction or even same-sex couples. Huge question here. Which fertility treatment is best? So which one is best for you? Which one should you do? You're not sure, you're going back and forth. The most important takeaway that I want you to get from this video is that each treatment plan is individualized to the patient or to you and their needs and medical history. So there's no one size fits all in the fertility world. So what do I mean by that? I mean, you can't compare your fertility journey or your needs to someone else. Um, my body is different than your body. All of our bodies are different, right? Our hormones are different. The way that we react to medications are different. So you may need something different than somebody else or that like a friend who you may know has had done in the past. It is super, super, super important to discuss your history and your needs with your provider and figure out is IUI the best route for you or IVF. But I do want you to at least be educated on both options so you know what choice is best for you.